we've got Michael Hitchborn on from the Lepanto Institute because unfortunately, just like we see Catholic charities pushing these open borders policies and open borders uh, human trafficking, now we've got a massive expose over at the Lepanto Institute on the largest Catholic healthcare system in the country pushing sex changes. Michael, thank you for being on. I wish it were under other auspices, but unfortunately we have this grim situation. Uh, the floor is yours, sir. How did you come to this report and what did you find? So about a, it, sometime in March, somebody came to me with a tip that a Catholic, or, or a Catholic hospital in California was performing sex change operations. I didn't get the name of the hospital. I didn't get the name of the health group. So I was left with very little information. So I started digging a little bit and I, I discovered an organization called Dignity Health, which I had remembered from previous research I'd conducted. And I started digging into them and I just, I found that they were part of something called Common Spirit Health. And I'd never heard of Common Spirit. I had no idea what it was. So I dove all the way into their background. I pulled up documents from their, founda their foundation. I got their, their legal merge documents and I started reading through this thing and found out that Common Spirit Health is not just a Catholic hospital system. It's, it's the largest Catholic hospital system in the country, but it gets its Catholic identity directly from the Vatican. Uh, the Vatican, uh, one of the dicasteries in Rome, established what's called a public juridic person. Uh, in the United States, uh, it would be the equivalent of, um, uh, you know, like a corporation. And this public juridic person uh, has the same authority as a diocese or a parish or even a religious order. And it is through this that Common Spirit Health has its Catholic identity. So its Catholic identity comes directly from the Vatican, and there is no authority except for the Vatican that can pass any kind of judgment on it from a Catholic standpoint. Well, so I, I found all that background, but as I was doing this digging, what I also discovered is that Common Spirit Health is dramatically Pro, uh, promoting transgender ideologies, homosexuality. It's, it's got the uh, Dignity Health Network, which belongs to Common Spirit. And in that network, not only is one of their hospitals, St. Francis Memorial Hospital, performing every element of sex change operations, from changing the vocal cords, to changing the bone structure, to changing the facial structure, to doing the, uh, the gender or, or the, the genital stuff, uh, they're doing top surgeries, all of it. They're also providing hormone therapies and they are providing puberty blockers for kids. And every single hospital network in Dignity Health, which belongs to Common Spirit, is required to refer patients to those institutions that perform surgeries that they do not, which means a Catholic hospital that doesn't perform sex change operations has an obligation to refer a patient to uh, St. Francis Memorial Hospital, which does. Uh, Common Spirit Health, I also discovered, has given millions of dollars to St. Francis Memorial Hospital for the, the, the performance of this sex change industry. And uh, it, there's a lot more to it, but I mean, the nuts and bolts really is that the largest Catholic health network in the United States is performing transgender surgeries, it's pr promoting transgender ideologies, and it's financing all of this stuff. And that's exactly right. And the name again is Common Spirit. And so for everyone out there within the sound of my voice, I'm going to say this again, I'm going to be very clear. We must, the same way that we exercise the demons at the LA Dodger Stadium, we must exercise the infiltrators from within the church. Everything that you just laid out, uh, Michael, is certainly not consistent with church teaching, it is not consistent with church doctrine, it is not consistent with church tradition. This is not our history, these are not our values, and I don't think most Catholics, when you you show up on, on Sunday, when you go to the parish, this is not something that people realize that when that collection plate comes around, that at some level it is going to subsidize this, are they? Oh, most people are unaware. We've, we've put together reports on the Catholic Campaign for Human Development, on Catholic Relief Services, on Caritas Internationalis, which is the Vatican agency that is the umbrella group for international aid and development under the auspices of the Catholic Church. And we've been exposing the fact that these institutions, which receive funding from pew-sitting Catholics, are promoting contraception, abortion, 
homosexuality, transgenderism, Marxism, uh, the Campaign for Human Development was created specifically to finance Saul Alinsky's community organizing groups. So this report on Common Spirit Health, which is getting more publicity than anything that we've ever reported, is really one of the biggest fears of the USCCB and a bunch of other establishment Catholic institutions, because what now is happening is that people are seeing there is a very serious problem in the church. It's getting out there, and the reports that they've been undermining that we've been producing are now getting uh, widespread attention. No, but it needs widespread attention. Again, we must exercise these infiltrators. Michael, we're out of time for the show today. Where can people go to get the report? Where can they follow the Lepanto Institute? Go to our website. That's Lepanto, L-E-P-A-N-T-O-I-N dot O-R-G. The report is right there on the front page, and uh, we have a newsletter. Please sign up for our newsletter. We're going to go put out all the links. Michael Hitchborn, the founder and president of the Lepanto Institute, thank you so much. You are fighting the new Battle of Lepanto every single day with your organization. God bless you for being there. God bless you for doing it. And folks, we must be like the brave warriors of the Battle of Lepanto. We will fight them like we did at Lepanto to defeat the enemy, not only on the spiritual side, but also on the political side to save our republic. 